from my last video uh, to this one, uh, as you guys can see, I changed my shirt. And maybe you noticed that my hair is grown a little bit, right? It's been like four days. I don't know if you guys noticed or not. But now we're going to talk about some lean tools, okay? There, there are a bunch of lean tools uh, that... Uh, Toyota and other lean system uh, companies develop around the, uh, over the years, uh, but we're not going to look at all of them, and it's a it's a lot, right? So as I told you, if you Google lean manufacturer, you get you know a million hits. Uh, it's studied many many. There's hundreds and hundreds of books about that because it's a lot new concepts and tools and stuff that were developed. Okay, we're only going to look at two. So I'm a very nice person right remember that uh, during your reviews i'm only going to look at two we're going to look at visual management and value stream mapping so uh, visual management is you know as the name say we want to have a visual representation of what's going on okay so basically they created uh, a bunch of different signs so we can identify problems really quick and that's that's the logic so uh, i want to reduce the waste remember that to reduce the waste, I need to identify waste, and I need to identify waste very, very quickly. So visual management is a very powerful tool to identify the waste and identify problem as soon as they happen, right? We're going to do an exercise in class, which is pretty cool, uh, and, and, and you guys will understand, you know, some of the power of uh, visual management. Basically, is you know, how can I understand what's going on if something is not as it's supposed to be? For example, if I have less employees that i supposed to be, if they're not trained as they're supposed to be, if the material is not there, any component is less than what I should have, if the information is not there, if the process stop, any problem that can occur, how can I identify that very, very quick? And that's very tough because problems happen all the time in companies and there's a million things that can go wrong uh, so identifying pretty quick gives you a heads up in, in, in being you know active and proactive you know in bef solving that before it actually becomes a problem okay or impacts or productivity so uh, 5s is a method uh, that was developed to actually help that maybe you guys uh, heard about 5s before or you're definitely going to use this uh, when you go to the industry because companies implement that a lot uh, in uh, administrative process. So it's basically come from five words in Japanese that all start with S, but uh, we were lucky enough that someone kind of came up with translations that also have S's. So it's basically sorting, cleaning uh, the things that you need, uh, only have the things that you actually need in your workplace, make it clean and shine and standardize in a way that, you know, maintain that organization and then sustain those procedures. So here are some uh, pictures. That's a, uh, the first S. It's the, usually the first step you do in an area. You just clean everything. You just take all the mess and take it out. So imagine doing that in your parents' garage or your garage or in your pantry or in your house, your you know you know uh, 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 room, right? You clean everything, take everything out, and this is from a company that did that. So it's a shop floor. They took everything that was in the department, and usually you put it in a specific place. Uh, next, you identify the areas, right? So this is kind of some visual identifications, you know, what area it is and what you're going to put where. So from everything that you need to have in your workplace, you establish a place for that. So that makes it visible for whatever things are not there. You realize pretty quick that, you know, oh, this thing is missing. You know, I need a stapler, I need a, uh, a slash hammer, I need a hammer, I need whatever tool you need, it have to be there. Right, so being identifying the place where it's supposed to be in the areas help you that as well. Uh, third S is shine, so make things clear. We have some examples here. You know, identifying the place, all clean, labeling all the parts and, and instructions, and here's the area of discussion. And this is a very uh, kind of uh, a good example. Uh, it's called a shadow board. So you can see you have different tools and you can have this in your garage as well. You have different tools and you have the, the shadow of the tool. Uh, and then you can identify what's going on, right? So that's the question. What's going on in this image below? 
is there anything missing? We have any everything? Well, no, we don't have everything, right? We have, you know, this wrench missing, the scissor missing, and this thing missing here as well. I don't know how to call that. Uh, and and you can see because there's a missing place. So you know, before the operator need that tool, the uh, supervisor can go there and pick it up so we don't lose time in production. And here is actually a, a before and after in a company that I uh, did uh, consulting with. So that was how I encountered the company the first time. They build uh, electronic components. Uh, actually, they build scales for uh, trucks and trains. So to to uh, calculate the weight, the weight uh, the a truck or uh, a, a train, uh, and there's like a, the electronic part of the scale, right? Uh, so that's that's where they build that and that's a picture I took this picture and that's how they they build this board right very uh, rudimentary very hands-on and you know in-house made but it it gives you the information that you need right so instead of having a bunch of things you know not well organized and it takes some time to you know find where are those those uh, uh, um, tools and which tool do I need and do I have all the ones that I need and you search 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 for half an hour and you find out that you don't have and then you have to go somewhere and look for that right so this give the team leader the information every morning that they have everything and and they got a rid of a bunch of other tools that they were not using they're just taking some time right so this is a real case example there are many many of them